Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new boss sim. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at uh, a more in-depth look at array lists. Now, I did this in the last tutorial, and this is going to be a continuation of that. So, what we're going to be talking about in this is removing stuff from array lists and uh, maybe something else if we have time for that. So, let's go ahead and add some more items to our array list. So, my array list dot add we'll add 20 we'll add a couple strings and we will add let's add we can even add a boolean so my array list dot add true okay so now that we've got some more stuff added to our array list we can go ahead and run this and you can see that it will print them out for us so now what we can do is we can remove items from our array list so let's just do this right before everything is printed out on the list box so we'll type my array list and then when we use dot it gives us a whole bunch of functions and sub subs that we can use so what we're going to use is we're going to use remove so what this says is uh, removes the first occurrence of a specific objects from the system dot collections dot array list so what this means is whatever you type in it's going to remove that so if I type in true it's going to remove the first occurrence of true which is at index uh, here 0 1 2 3 4 5 so at index 5 it's going to remove true now at index index 6 or 7 um, if we add true again uh, this will stay inside of our array list and this one will be taken out because as you saw it said it removes the first occurrence of it so if we type uh, my array list dot remove true we can go ahead and run this and you can see that if we click display array list everything is here except we're missing the true that was uh, somewhere right in here but you can see that the last true is still there because it removes the first occurrence now what we can also do is we can remove at so instead of remove we remove at and it says removes the element at the specific index so inside of our arguments we're going to use the index of the um, place in our array list or the item so let's just remove hello and that's going to be at index of one because they always start with zero so if we remove one or remove at the index of one and click display array list we got ten and then you can see hello is gone and then everything else is still there. Now, here's one thing that I would have covered in the last tutorial, but I didn't want to confuse you guys um, just yet. So if we come up here, let's just declare an array. So private my array, and we'll just um, leave that empty as array, or not as array. We, we want it to be a string. And then we will just populate this array. So we'll type Sam and then so we'll just add this stuff right here. And so now we have an array that has three items at 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now, what if we want to add all of the items of this array to our array list? We could use a for loop, but there is an easier way to do this. We can just type my array list dot add range and you can see it says adds the elements of a system dot collections dot i collection to the end of the array list so it'll just add all of the stuff in my array to our array list so if we type add range and then my array or what it's going to do is it's going to add all of these three um, strings to the end of our array list so let's go ahead and run this and you'll see how this works so we'll go ahead and click display array list and you can see that adds Sam, Online Gamer, and YouTube because we used add range and it adds each of the items in our array list. So in this tutorial we looked at removing items from an array list by using their name and um, removing them at certain index and, and we also learned how to add all the items of an array to an array list. So um, practice that a little bit and um, once you got that down, move on to the next tutorial. And thanks for watching, guys.